may conversation kami ng husband ko why he was looking a Filipina for wife. Since I asked my husband what is the reason why he was looking before a Filipino wife? Because they're different. That is my true answer because you're the biggest pain in the ass I ever had, but I love you. Okay. I wouldn't trade you for anything. Okay, and Every then... time I look at you, my heart because I love you. Okay, listen, listen. Like I say, pain in the ass. Okay, okay, pain in the ass is pain in the ass is already there. Just for me, not for everybody, okay? okay. Why? Oh, what is the reason? that you give me hard time every time I change your clothes because you're weak. Why? Because I don't want to change because I'm going to get with you. No, that's not the reason. No. I tell you the truth. If you see a Filipina wife, they are always taking care of their husband. That's what I am. No, you're paying in the butt and a good wife to take care of you. Okay, let me ask you something. Uh -oh, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Do you believe you're a pain in the ass? Like for what? Do you believe you can be a pain in the ass? Like for what? As and a Filipino wife. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're a pain in I'm the butt. I'm a stubborn. Yes. Stubborn, pain in the butt. And you are too. What? <laughs> Is that one you are? I am the most happiest go go getting person, hard working man you've ever had oh, in your yeah, life. Exactly. You treat That's me bad. Place. No, I'm not. You always treat me bad. <laughs> no. You're talking that I always treat you bad, okay? Yes, you're pain in the butt, but I love you. Listen. I wouldn't train yeah. for my pain in the butt. If I pain in the butt, why? Why? Are you far at night towards me? Because you're always putting your face in my ass. <laughs> no, I just wake up. I just wake up on your butt already for the I didn't tell you to put your damn hand by my butt hole. <laughs> and then you do it like that every night. I got a fart. Shit. Damn, you fart <laughs> all the damn time. <laughs> Yes, you did. You were farting loud yesterday in the damn washroom. Oh, yeah. It sounded like a damn machine gun going off. But it looks stink. Bullshit. <laughs> Maybe your shit don't stink to you, but to me, it smells like a dead rat. If you don't believe me, get your sisters on video and they will tell you your ass is like a dead rat. <laughs> you are too. Oh, I, 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 my shit stinks. I believe that. <laughs> shit. It's a big drop. Especially, okay. listen, especially you are eating if a I ice sushi. Cream? And oh, a sushi, sushi parts. A sushi parts. I didn't tell cream. me to feed me your type of food. Oh. You could have fed me chicken fried oh. steak and baked potatoes. And then. And steak. Oh. And, and then. French fries. Oh. Just, Every just, time I eat your food, I smell like a dead rat, like you do. I don't want to go every time in in Thai food, but you want. Because you love it. Tell me you don't love it. The I whole know. time we're sitting there eating, you're going, oh my god. Mm. Oh, but this you're is so the one oh. telling you the truth. Every time I tell you we gotta go there in the Asian, Asian restaurant. You ain't never told me we ain't had to go there. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Every time we go there, because you're so excited, you're the first one to the door. <laughs> no. I just, I just, I just tell you, I, I see the truth. You are the one who just opened the door. Just let me inside. Don't lie. No, it's not. I love you. Okay. I love my pain in the book. What is the best in your life that happens before me? Before you? No. Shoot. I don't know yet. My kids. No, I 
I, I, I never. All of my kids. I never. That was the best thing in my life before you. My grandbabies. All of that's a blessing to me. God has blessed me with it. So what was the best thing in your life before you met me? Nothing. Because I was the best. <laughs> what? I have. What? Uh, you can't think of nothing because I was the best thing in ever. Oh. It happens to you? You know why? Because God put us together oh. for a reason. He put uh, two hard-headed pain in the bus together for a reason. Listen, love. What, love? The best thing happened in my life is having a family. You may tell you what the best thing is in, in, in your life before me. Mm. It's baby girl. Oh. No, but you will raise She was a blessing. I Ten days before that's I... That's my baby. No, five days before I... had this with her sister before I met her, and that's no. really my baby. No. I don't care what they say. No. no five days... Not. I'm just kidding. Five, five <laughs> days before we meet. We have already our baby girl. It's our niece. It's our niece. Oh, son, very us. good. So How about the boy? She loves me more. She loves yes. everybody. Uh, yeah. And every time we are talking on video, She's still looking at her dad. She loves my husband so much. I would get up at 4 o'clock in the morning in the Philippines and take that baby to eat because she was hungry. Right, I did true. that for over a year and a half. Every time I come, she wanted to come and see me. Oh, yeah. And your sisters love me too. Yeah. Only one, Lin Lin loves me, but little Mary Lynn, she don't really care too much for me because she knows that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> How about Nanay? What is your impression with Nanay? That's my mother. I take good care of her. Right. She's like my mother. <laughs> Listen, you know she what? She loves me. I know. You know what? She loves me more than she does Geraldine. <laughs> you know She's what? She's a pain in the butt. You know what? Since uh, Nana was already in, in the in the province. He was thinking that he wants to go to the Philippines and go straight to the province just to meet my mom. He loves my mom so much. My mother, I love her so much. She's my she is my best friend. She is my mother. She's my everything. She's she taking care of her. That's my mother called my hair when I even I was already grown i was already 35 years old and i asked her to, to, to comb my hair she can do that's my mom listen but the best thing happened in my life is having a good husband yeah. i don't say he is not, he is not a perfect husband but he is the best thing happened in my life and that's I want to make the rich and I am perfect. I'm perfect though. Sorry. Perfect. No, sometimes it's not. Because hard. he was so hard he did sometimes. That makes me mad. I don't want to fight with him. Anyway, we, are, we fight when I, since I get her since February. Uh, twice. And that's all. Because I don't want to fight every time. I just cry. Go inside a bit and cry. That's what, that's me. But I won't leave her alone. I keep giving her a <laughs> hard time until she's not mad no more. <laughs> yeah. That's my husband. This is sweet. If I tell everybody that who was the best man I ever had is my husband. <laughs> Everything that I try I want, to be. Yeah. Everything that I was looking for, he got it. Because before I met him, I just pray for God to having a good husband. He's not look. He's not. He's not really. He's yeah, not really. I got a little sexy bit. Boy. Wait a minute. I am sexy. Hold on. I got <laughs> sexy baby. What is wrong with you? You tell me all the time you're so handsome and sexy. Yes, you're handsome. Hey, listen, my belly makes me sexier. Huh? <laughs> this is our life right here. Yeah. She's got the best life because I feed her 
Thai food twice a week. <laughs> but he loves uh, Thai recipe. My favorite recipe when is when I was in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. When her sister and her mother cooked, and she cooked in the Philippines. I mean, in the province. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Don't think she won't get mad if she gets off as you do. I cannot believe you said that. <laughs> I cook for you too. I, That's I what did. she's gonna do. As soon as we get off of this YouTube, she gonna give me a hard time. I said that. <laughs> no, listen. Don't think she's perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. No, not at all. Pain in the butt. That's it. Hey, but she's my pain in the butt, and I love her. That's the bottom line, cause that comes from Fat Dog in Texas. <laughs> My nickname is Fat Dog. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get her to tattoo it on her butt. But she won't do it. No, I don't. But we are facing. We are facing to having a tattoo both. I can take. I can take the pain for the tattoo because I. I. I want. My part of the body is the continue of his part of the body. Let me tell you what we're going to do though. What we need to do is get everybody that can see this prescribe down below. <laughs> no. As soon as you subscribe or click on the YouTube, I don't know how it's done. I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but what I'm telling you what we're going to do in the future, we're fishing to start doing a, we're going to travel to the Philippines after the Kobe is done. And I feel like God has put this on my heart to do this. Because every time I'm in the Philippines, I have to feed everybody's hungry because I don't like seeing them starve. Right, I don't sorry. like seeing them hungry. So we buy food, we take it, feed the people on the street. So what I think God wants me to do is when I go to the Philippines, I want to go and start, a, in, in the United States it's called flip a house or flip a house. I like to take somebody that I don't know and nobody knows that's got the poorest place there is, but it's their home. Remodel it, fix it up, and give them a good life and a home to live in. Oh yeah. That's that, my future plan. That's his, that is future plan to, to and have. And we're gonna do that through God, because God is gonna finance it, God's gonna put it together, and God's gonna send us there to be able to do it. Oh yeah. He was because he put me and her together. I'm not going to let her talk right now because we're talking about God and what he did for us. Because <laughs> she is my everything. God is my <laughs> God is first. She is my second. She's my everything. So you knew that's his plan. After Corona, after our, our business was situated, everything was going good. We can plan to go into the Philippines, just give some the poorest the poorest person. We can make some house or give some house a beautiful not really a beautiful but we wanna remodel it and make it really nice for them. Mm. That's his plan. That's my plan. And I'm gonna spend I'm gonna go over, spend three months at a time. Cause I want to get my driver's license over there. I want to get all our bank stuff straight over there. And I want to get all my tools organized to get them there that we need. We're going to find people in the Philippines that does all kinds of work and let them help with us. So it'll be a together thing, kind of like a mission uh, exactly. for God. A yeah. mission for God. Yeah. So. We'll get people in the Philippines that do certain type work there and everybody pitch in and do it together so we can get it done. But the main thing is get, getting past the COVID. Oh, yeah. This is not going to be our future life until I'm an old man and I die helping people in the Philippines. Because he was a, he is the type of man that open hand to help somebody. If, if somebody was looking him since he was go back and forth in the Philippines along the the street of uh, malapit sa malapit sa Robinson Manila that place he was walking and 
watching all the baby that's that lay down in the street baking some food baking some anything because they're hungry he's the one who was if he if we are outside and passing that that baby he's a terrible eyes you know he, when he was the the one one month old baby that's just not really good in in condition so he gives some money to go to the hospital or to the clinic just make it good so he was a helping man for somebody so this that's the our plan in the near future it's gonna be happen so it's not gonna happen soon because of coronavirus but it will be sooner when the coronavirus is gone so better you watch this and most lucky per person that we can build a house for that never we don't know yet but we can hope we can build it okay thank you so much